remember the first time I saw him, I was taking a night walk like I sometimes do. I was never scared to go out at night. My ne- my neighbourhood never had any crime bigger than shoplifting or speeding. I was taking a walk through a local park, <coughs> and I just sat down on a bench underneath a lamppost. This dark black cat walked out in front of me. I thought I heard him purring, and he didn't see, and it didn't seem like he was going to hurt me. So I reached out and started to pet him. He meowed and made cute little noises and purred. He began to purr louder and brushed up against my leg as cats do. He opened his mouth, but not to meow. But he showed me his teeth like he was smiling for just a second. Then he got, then he closed it. Something made a rustle in a bush up ahead, and he bolted off. It was getting pretty late, so I started to walk home. <coughs> I got to my door, and as I put, and right as I put my put in my key. I heard a meow from right behind me. I turned around, and there was that same cat, sitting up, looking right at me, with big green eyes. It was a scary green, almost neon. Now I know you aren't supposed to feed wild animals, but I couldn't help it. He looked so hungry. I went inside, and hurriedly got a small paper plate and put some small slices of ham on it. I opened the door to give it to him, but he was gone. So I set the plate down right outside my front door. I made the sound that almost every cat comes to, but there was no trace of him. After that, I went to bed, as it was around 11.30 at night. I woke up to something tapping on my window. I would have been a bit scared had I not been too sleepy to comprehend anything. I turned over in my bed to see that same cat sitting up with those big green eyes right on my window sill. He was definitely smiling now. <coughs> I could see the slightest hint of white near his mouth as his teeth were just barely showing, his tail flailing happily like his tail had a mind of its own, and bouncing against my window in the process. I didn't notice at the moment, but I did realise something later that day. I always keep my blinds down and closed, and my curtains over the window. But when I saw the cat, the curtains were parted, and the blinds were up. I woke up that day, not even remembering that sight, and got ready for my usual day, Fast forward a few hours, I don't want to bother with details. I left my work office, not 30 minutes away from my house, and there, in the parking lot, right beside my car, was that same cat, sitting and smiling, with the green eyes that looked even bigger, looking right at me. At this point, I knew something was up. I called animal control. And they came and caught him. When they were taking him away, he was staring at me with his, with his eyes narrowed like he was plotting to kill me for giving him away. I had a lot more peace of mind for the rest of the day until that night. I didn't take a walk at, I didn't take a walk that night as I was a bit unnerved about the cat. In fact, I didn't even leave the house for the rest of the day. Right before I fell asleep, I could have sworn I heard pawing on my bedroom door. But I dismissed it as my laundry machine, a mouse, or some other common sound. But that morning, I woke up to something terrifying. The same cat was lying right there, on the end of my bed, asleep. (coughs) Still with that same, with that smile that I have come to know is a demonic smile on his face. I could even see a few teeth that were so long 
was sticking out of his mouth. I had had enough. I knew I would probably have animal rights down my throat about what I was going to do, but I didn't care. I grabbed the cat by the neck. It didn't even scream or thrash or run like a normal cat would. I threw it into the backyard and beat it to death with a shovel. Throughout the whole ten minute process, he did not meow or hiss even once. When I regained control of my thoughts and actions, the cat was barely recognisable. His front two legs were broken, his right ear was torn, his ribs were demolished, his face had a huge dent in it, and his fur was becoming infused with blood. I couldn't believe what I had done. I didn't have to come into work that day, so I put his mangled and blood-drenched corpse in a box, drove far out of the city, and buried it, near a forest on the side of the road. Do you know why? Because I'm a jerk. I was really shaken. I thought about this. How had the cat gotten inside my bedroom, let alone my house? I didn't want to think about it. I got some lunch from a fast food restaurant and went home to take a nap. I was exhausted and it was only 12.30. I guess I slept all through the day. But I wish I had slept longer. I woke up on my own and was immediately compelled to look to my window and saw what has scared me for the rest of my life. (coughs) It was that cat with his damaged body, smiling larger than ever before and staring right at me. His eyes were not green anymore and were oozing blood. They were pitch black as if their pupils had enlarged to his entire eye. He looked at me, and he started to dance, but those broken limbs flailing about in an unnatural and horrifying manner. His left leg was still bent in the wrong way, and his ear was still torn. Every time he moved, a sickening crack could be heard. I screamed and ran for my life, got in my car and drove as far away from this that city as possible. I'm now trying to start a new life in a new state. And I will be damned if I ever interact with any animals ever again. One day I came home from my new job and went in my bedroom. I saw something on the bed. It was that cat. He looked somewhat strange. I was scared by the mystery of how he got in here. It couldn't have been the last one. It looked nothing like it. Then suddenly, its eyes changed to a crimson red colour, and it smiled a truly evil smile. I screamed at the top of my lungs as it began to walk towards me, hissing at me. I threw everything that came to have at it, but it slashed through the objects like a hot knife through butter. It pinned me to the ground and slashed and slashed and slashed me with its claws. All while smiling like a mental hospital escapee. But, as if God were watching over me, the police burst through the door and saw what was happening and shot the demon off off of me. The police didn't ask any questions about what had happened. And if they did... What could I say? That day it's forever carved into my mind, slowly ripping me apart and never leaving my mind. But then I realised, if it was able to come back once, what's stopping it from coming back again?